That's right, guys. Keep it locked right here. And now here's your host, Junior Santiago. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Ask El Trans Highlight Show. I am your host, Junior Santiago, and I pray that you are all off to an incredible weekend on this fine Sunday of October the 20th. My uncle Mason Santiago is currently away and in production of his brand new Second Life film, which is entitled Devante. Now, unless you've been hiding under a rock somewhere in the grid, which, by the way, is definitely an easy thing to do. Ha, but no seriously, unless you've been hiding under a rock somewhere, there's a good chance you've probably seen one of these incredible Devante film promos circulating around a lot of the social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, just to name a few. The film does not currently have a release date just yet, as filming actually began in the latter part of last month back in September. However, Uncle Mason prefers to film using a scene-by-scene -scene technique which he finds to be a lot more gratifying from a creative standpoint. Because after filming the scenes, he then goes into his editing phase, and once that's done, it won't require him to have to go back and sort through tons of footage during the pre-production phase, considering each scene of the film has already been filmed, produced, and edited. Meaning the only thing he has to do is put each scene in its respective place. I'm pretty sure those of you who understand all that goes into the whole videography and film production aspects of the grid can probably relate to that particular method of editing, and if not, consider it something to maybe consider on your next project. It just might make your life a little bit easier. Now my Uncle Mason will start as one of the lead characters named Devonte, and co-starring in other lead roles are Javier Jules, Epiphany Less Strange, Sister Girl Kiori, Solarian Star, and last but most certainly not least, Donis Jules, among many other A-listing Second Life actors and actresses. And I've got to say, that's one of the reasons I myself I'm looking forward to this huge film event. Now, I'm pretty sure by now that many of you who celebrate Halloween are probably gearing up for the holiday festivities and such. Well, that brings me to this. Although no one in my family celebrates Halloween, including my Uncle Mason, this Halloween, let's just say inspiration hit him while visiting the Simmons Second Life called Witchcraft and Voodoo in New Orleans, subtitled The End. Now this incredible spooky sim was created by none other than Caden Glock Trey and his lovely assistant and co-creator Pandora Seridwin Trey. Now initially, Uncle Mason and his good friend Epiphany Lestrange, who will also be co-starring in this new episode of Scenarios, Episode 2, were both just going to visit the haunted New Orleans sim for the tour the sim's creators Caden and Pandora were presenting to the Second Life community. However, according to Uncle Mason, he and Epiphany came fashionably late and well. He guessed it, they both missed a grand tour. However, all was not lost because Caden gave the green light for my Uncle Mason and Epiphany to go and have a look around the sim. And according to my Uncle Mason, that's when the inspiration for this very special Halloween edition of Scenarios hit him. And the rest, this coming October 31st at 7 p.m. I bet you is gonna make Second Life history. And I'm not saying that just because it's my Uncle Mason's film. I am saying that because I, for one, have never seen anything like it. And one thing I know about my Uncle Mason is that he loves to be sort of what you call an innovator or a trailblazer, if you know what I mean. And he most certainly loves to keep his audience guessing on what he might do next. Because with Uncle Mason, you really just never know. But whatever the case, one thing you can most certainly count on is that my Uncle Mason will most definitely keep you entertained one way or another. Now, for those of you who may not be already familiar with the scenarios episodes, the first thing you would need to know is that not all of the scenarios episodes will ever be the same, some of them will possibly be scary like this upcoming special Halloween edition. And I do say that indefinitely because my Uncle Mason is not really too big on creating horror films. But hey, you just never really know, right? But anyways, as I was saying, each scenario's episode promises to be different in terms of a storyline and possible theme. Because just like its title suggests, each episode is just going to be based on different types of scenarios that these different characters may just so happen to stumble upon or encounter. You know? kind of like it happens in real life, right? Because we can't always predict what kind of predicament or scenario we might end up in on a day-to-day -day basis, right? For example, Scenarios Episode 1 took place one day before the 4th of July weekend, and it was more on the lighter side of things, 
as it was very comical. The scenario in this case was centered around some good friends who were looking to have some fun. They were just hoping to celebrate the 4th of July. However, before going to a beach party, they decided to grab a quick bite to eat before heading out. And after which, the unthinkable happened. Without knowing it, they both ended up getting food poison from the restaurant they had just previously eaten at, causing both of them to acquire some heavy chronic gas. Humid beach air is actually coming from the deep, dark crevices of his dear sister girl's anus. And sister girl. <laughs> who, at that very moment, <coughs> begins to get indignant as she feels the mounting chronic gas within her stomach, punching and boxing at her intestinal walls. And at any moment, because although she thought the previous part that escaped her body would be just a small, subtle quiff, it would be nothing in comparison to the volcanic eruption that was about to explode at any second. So immediately, she exclaimed, Now is really not the time, boy. It's like really foul as hell, though. I gotta go pee, like right now. And let's just say the two of them turned a beach party out. Now, if by chance, you have Massing Scenarios Episode 1, and you are looking for something to tickle your funny bone, I would recommend that you head on over to the Mason Santiago YouTube channel right now and check it out. Oh, and by the way, Scenarios Episode 1 stars my Uncle Mason, of course, and also another incredible female co-star, Sister Girl Kiori. Now, if you are someone who has seriously been following my Uncle Mason's work for a while now, and I'm talking about the really hardcore Mason fans out there, then you are probably already familiar with the SL Model Magazine covers that my Uncle Mason used to post on his Flickr page and also in the SL Trends Highlights Facebook group page, which is actually where those magazine covers first made their appearance. Well, believe it or not, Uncle Mason has decided to reopen the SL Modeling Agency in order to house and build a slims for film casting roster. All Second Life users will be able to apply once it goes into effect just as long as you meet the requirements, such as your willingness to modify your avatar for potential character roles if necessary, having a flexible availability. And another definite must have is that your avatar must be one of high quality, meaning it needs to be unique looking and it needs to look like you put some serious time and effort into creating an authentic avatar look. As a little sidebar, let's just say it'll make your chances of being selected on the roster much higher. In short, it just simply can't look generic or cheap. The goal for slims, for films, is to try to get as close to hyper-realistic looking avatars as possible. So the better looking and the better quality your avatar is, the better it will look on film. Now we are not asking you to change your real second life day-to-day -day look. However, you may be asked to create a separate folder with a copy of your original shape and look so that if any modifications need to be done, it won't affect your overall appearance after any particular film projects. Just think of it as having an alternate shape that you can use to manipulate for different character roles and types, okay? Lastly, the official SL Model Magazine actors roster will only have 20 available slots. And once all 20 of those slots are filled, the roster search will be over and not ever reopen unless one of the selected official actors no longer meets the requirements, turns out to be difficult to work with, or they themselves decide to quit and move on elsewhere. In such cases, the actors placed on the roster will be replaced by a new potential actor or actress. Also, in regards to the 20 actor slot positions, 10 slots out of the 20 will be open only to male avatars and the other remaining 10 slots will only be available for the female avatars. So, please govern yourselves accordingly and be on the lookout for the SL Model Magazine Actor Slash Model Search, which should start in late December this year of 2024. Well now, in light of all this excitement regarding the new scenario's Halloween film special, we here at SL Trends highlight. Thought it would only be fitting to finish this special edition of SL Trends with a recap from another one of our shows called Trends Premieres, hosted by our very own Sir Felix Winlow. We've decided to recap a couple of very special interviews he had with my cousin Chico Santiago, and of course the very beautiful and lovely sister girl Kiori. Well folks, that's all the time we have today, but stay tuned for more SL Trends, as we'll do our best to keep you informed on all of the latest and greatest entertainment news in the Second Life grid. So until next time, I wish you all well in Yakushiwa's magnificent name. I'm Junior Santiago, and I'll leave you all with Felix Windlow and the Trends premiere show, where we're recapping his exclusive interview with sister girl Kiori and my little cousin Chico Santiago. So stay tuned. wonders of family dynamics in the world of comedy.
Now, Chico scenario is centered around chronic gas, a topic that can make anyone giggle. Where did you draw your inspiration for this unique storyline? Well, Felix, let's just say that growing up with a mischievous sense of humor in a household where gas-related jokes were always floating around, <laughs> unintended, it wasn't hard to find inspiration. <laughs> we wanted to create something that would make people laugh and lighten the mood. And hey, who doesn't love a bit of bathroom humor from time to time? Absolutely! Life's too short to take things too seriously, right? Now, Chico, before we wrap up, tell me, what's next for you? Any exciting projects on the horizon? Um, well, I'm currently working on a few scripts of my own, trying to carve my own path in the industry. Um, so, as a yes, result, I've been juggling yes, a few ideas yes. and discussing some possible music projects with my dad. I have a cousin named Seven, and he and I both are really big fans of K-pop music. So, we've currently been working on some song demos which feature a few songs with us singing and rapping. So we'll see what happens with all that. But either way, you can certainly expect something from me. Because I am a pretty ambitious person, which I think comes from seeing my dad do so many things. So just keep an eye out for something fresh and unique coming your way. That sounds fantastic, Chico. We'll definitely keep an eye out for your future endeavors. Thank you for joining us today and giving us a glimpse into the hilarious world of Scenario. Well, Felix, I'd just like to say thanks to you and your entire staff for having me here on your show today. And Miss Mindy, who aided me back there in the green room, she was really kind and helpful in calming my nerves. Huh, I'm not gonna lie, I was getting a little nervous when I saw how packed it was in here before I came out. But your audience is as incredible as you are, Felix, so I just wanted to say thanks. Well, on behalf of us all, thank you, Chico. Yes, sir, you're welcome. And thank you, everybody, for showing me so much love today. You are watching Trends Premieres with your host, Felix Windblow. And we'll be right back after this commercial break. Hey, K.O.E. Oh, can I get a new for me, please? Do you think I can get you to turn this way just a little bit? Thanks. Hello, Mason. Marcus what are you told that you were not going to the after party. Yeah. Marcus told you that? Marcus I'm told you. I didn't see him. He said it was around on the other side. I was like, no, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Premieres. I'm your dearly beloved host, Sir Felix Windlow. Now I don't know about you people, but I am super excited, or as the kids say these days, I'm too amped up and souped for these next two brilliant actors that I'm about to announce. You see, although they are currently attending the premiere showing of their new film scenarios, they both agreed to allow me to interview the both of them. So now that being said, my dear ladies and gentlemen, will you please help me welcome both of the stars of Mason Santiago's new series called Scenarios. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present to you Mason Santiago and Sister Girl Fiori. Mason and Fiori, how are the both of you doing during this time of what I would assume to be a very exciting time for the both of you? You are currently at the theater there in the beautiful Los Santiago city, I see. So I'm going to try and make this interview as brief as possible. So let's direct these first few questions to the beautiful and absolutely stunning Fiori. Kiori, yeah. uh. your comedic timing in scenarios is impeccable. How do you navigate the unexpected moments and keep the audience laughing through it all? Well, first off, Felix, thank you for that incredible introduction and the warm welcome from all of your wonderful audience. But to answer your question, Felix... 
I love making people laugh. So putting a smile on people's faces is like a, a superpower for me. It's all about spontaneous improvising with a smile. Just going with the flow is what I do best. Your character's friendship with Mason is a central pillar in the film. How did you handle the unexpected challenges that their friendship faced throughout the story? My character is a ready-for-anything type of girl, so I was able to handle it all very well. Our friendship throughout the story is a cool one, so, you know, it's, it's kind of how one would act with a sibling, you know, fun and fancy-free. And Mason is also very easy to work with, and he's very funny, which made any unexpected challenges easy to get over. Well, well, sort of. <laughs> See that video. Our characters did, however, get through them as smoothly as possible. In scenarios, unexpected turn of events, we witness the unexpected consequences of chronic stomach gas. <laughs> Can you share with us any unexpected moments or challenges that you faced while filming those hilarious scenes? Trying not to laugh was a big challenge for me. I had to focus when it was my turn to say my lines, and that was not easy. <laughs> I mean, it certainly wasn't easy to stay in character, but I did it. Scenarios reminds us that life is full of unexpected surprises. What message do you hope viewers take away from the film about embracing the unexpected and finding humor in challenging situations? The message I would say they should take away from it is to try not to get too emotionally attached in a negative way towards challenges. We all face them. Like the saying goes, just let go and let God. Bad times don't always last, you know. We have to learn how to laugh a little along the way because even though times can be rough, a positive attitude will help you get through it. And whatever you do, do not give up when faced with challenges because you're going to be okay. And you will get through them. Sister Girl, as an influential figure in the virtual world, how do you think scenarios? Unexpected turn of events reflects the unexpected turns and surprises that we encounter in our own life. In unexpected turn of events, even though our characters didn't expect what had happened, they handled it. <laughs> it shows us how we can stay strong, how we can remain positive, and how we can readily find solutions in any given situation. Plus, throwing a little humor into the mix can help us out a lot.